What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to run off of our last time, um, not much has happened because the Persians just keep pumping troops at us and there's not really a lot we can do about it except just knock them out time after time. Um, so now we're going to knock out this army, which should be fun. Um, I would like to replenish, reorganise and capture Georgia. Um, but I don't think we're going to go if the Georgians have moved out and immediately attacked Yerevan, considering well, that which would be classic because I've just taken it. So I'm anticipating they come to us because they have no artillery and they are just an absolute load of chaff units. So the idea is just to smother them with musket fire, as is tradition. Go, get more bashies. Okay, so these guys immediately want to go like that. Bowman, bowman, bowman. So the bowmen are frustrating. Pikemen, eh? Let's go for them. Speed up time a little bit because it looks like the AI just wants to reorganize themselves. Yeah, more bowmen. Yeah, you aim for, aim for the pikemen artillery. Damn, that was a great shot. You see, it went bam, 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 bam. It just kept going. That's a whole bunch of kills there. Yeah, these bowmen, I'm probably not going to engage them with the musketeers. I'm probably just going to charge in and engage them. With my melee troops. Oh, yes, do it again. Miss, miss. Another good hit. 30 odd men died in that blast. So let's speed up time because right now all that's happening is that we're just killing their pikes. Okie dokie. So they're charging in. So as you can probably surmise from the fact that there is so few of them, that the bowmen aren't actually good units. Let's get my bashies up here to help fight the pikes when they arrive. Because these are just fellaheen, they're not fabulous when it comes to melee. Okay, they're starting to look like they want to rout. The bowmen have routed. I may even pull these guys back a bit because it gives our melee troops a bit more time to get into position. With regular melee musket troops, these guys fall super quickly. We can keep blasting them with I mean, these guys are gonna to get to take some casualties because they're running in front of the in front of the troops. You charge in run around them. You get ready. You go in and hit the Bukima levy. Now you guys run across. Okay, this unit of Bashis fall back, but this unit just smash into them. I mean, these guys, my muskets are actually doing quite a good job. I was anticipating a death-like um, 
the de uh, like, like the Native Americans almost. I was expecting that kind of bow fire. So even my pretty poor musketry is still pretty good. I suppose because in this, it's just the front rank firing. Your Native American, not the front rank, it's like the first chunk. In the Native American units, they all fire. Don't worry, my general's here waiting. If I turn fire off here, you guys run through to take him out. They're out of range for canister shot. Fellaine in. Pivot. Those guys get these guys to go on the flank. So they have most to charge without taking any damage. They should do pretty well. I mean, they're depleted, but my guys are combat troops. These guys are very much militia. You get the just crept into musket range. Oh, my guys are wavering. How about now they've got... Wow. Just charge on. Just charge into the bowman. My musketeers have got there first, but my melee troops are coming up behind. And yeah, my Sorelis did come back, as they should have done. So they've got one unit towards the rear. I'll just bring up my melee troops and I'll just charge them. It's just slaughtered them. Bring these troops, bring my general back. Oh dear, they think they're going to come back. Get him, General. Everyone run in from a long, long distance. Don't fight well off for this unit of Israelis. Don't fight well off for those guys. Everyone just chase down the bowman and let's call it a day. Let's turn off the artillery. Yeah, I'm probably better off killing the Israelis, but I don't think it really matters. Oh, they, the units come back. Too badly charged. Oh, funny musketeer unit. They're not exactly the A team. Crash into the flank. Yeah, let's end it there. We've chased them down, but I've not got the cavalry to do that too successfully. Yeah, they lost a, lo a whole bunch of men. Follow Marsh! Marsh! You guys form up, since we are going to probably... Baghdad's probably going to get put under siege. Because this army's too far out to stop stop them. Um, but let's build some... Oh, what do I 
want. If I can get it, that is. Two units of infantry, I suspect. And let's repair this. See if I can tempt one of their one of their armies to come back. So Austria cancelled their trade agreement. That's a bad sign. Let's move this troop back. Just keep an eye on Sophia. Have you got problems with other people, Austria? I hope you do. You're at war with Poland still. Good. Get cover up, we to get some better tanks. Cool, let's hit end turn. So let's see what happens. Right now, I think that we're just going to see... We're going to see the Ottomans, they may even get Baghdad, but if they do, I'll just put it under siege immediately. With the other army. Because um, the army to the south, I want to expand it to a full army and then send it marching on... Marching on to Persia. Because to the north, I'd like to take out Genoa just to get rid of them. And then I want to try and swing east and take Azerbaijan. Because they that's a, a region they could use to pump troops out to frustrate me with. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. That's a, that's a lot of troops going north. Yeah, putting me under siege. Uh, we can we can try let's do it got a bunch of poor garrison units haven't got the firepower behind them to get them into into the combat but we may as well fight to try and do as much damage as possible particularly bad hey we do actually get too bad it's only the bashi bazooks that can actually get stuff let's deploy some cavalry barriers just to slow them down deploy our mortars at the back give them a bit of cover because why not this Israelis in the center two units of garrison as ours flank are these He's like light infantry. Yeah, just. So they're very susceptible to attack. And we've got a firelock arm populace. So let's put a garrison swordsman behind the Izzars. Our camels for when things go badly wrong. Let's speed up time. Oh, I should really have put them in this because now they won't. The damn. Uh... Oh no, they can shift their firing arc. So the first volley did nothing. <laughs> now, granted, I suppose most of them, most of them aren't in range. But we need to go for them, if at all possible. Yes, I foresee a poor time ahead for these chaps. Poor souls. My camels are my camels are wavering and they've, they've done nothing. Garrison Islamic swordsmen in against the camels. To the into the Israelis. I want to get my camels out and charge into the back of them. Let's 
charge those guys into the camels. goes back because I want them to try and come this way into my barrier. My guys are... Ah, my centre's fallen. Charge my bashies. My bashies are having a great time against their camel. Actually, I try to go for this unit because they their units are very doing very badly. Yes, some camel damage. That's what I want to see. March my run my serenades and my file on top this on that flank. General died. Charge on. I don't know why my Azars are routing. I wouldn't be surprised if it's my own mortar. Yep, they've routed. God, these mortars seem to suck. They've both routed for unknown reasons. I think it must be this mortar just massively hinders my own. Like, they're routing and they're not even being shot at. I mean, you guys don't really shoot. My guys are wavering. Hey, my camels came back. Their camels, my Azars hit their troops. Are you charging in? You are. Square formation. My Bashis have come back. My other Isarays have come back. This might work out after all. Do a grand job. No, no, they're starting to come back. Oh, my troops are out here. Line these guys up to engage the other Sereli unit. My Bashis can get into combat. Oh, you're supposed to go into combat with that. If you can get into combat with that unit of Isoradius, at the very least, yeah, they've routed. Slicing through them, though, when they do get there. At the very least, my objective of getting as many kills as possible is very possible. Just don't route, get some musket shots off against those guys because they are also very unhappy. Bashi's routes on the left. There's round two. Being yeah, the objective here for me was not to win, it was to try and do as much damage as possible. Let's 
Alright, so you guys... Brand, try form a, a, a battle line. Although, it looks like they do want to actually charge these guys. Not to form a battle line, but, you know, to find a line where they can shoot at. <laughs> yeah, we did a lot of damage. Close defeat, which wasn't, wasn't massively surprising given my garrison forces, but we took out almost half their army. So obviously that's... I mean, that's very kind of them to just abandon that army. But what I'm going to do is my garrison at Cairo, they're going to start marching east. Because we've not had a British invasion for a long time. And that army could be more constructively utilised heading east. Especially as we know that the, the Persians are really starting to crank out... Um, troops to send against us army destroyed down here yeah that's why i'm just gonna run around you so this army up here you're probably not going to be able to hold i mean it's not it's a lot of junk to be honest i'm gonna have to pull back to here allow these guns to catch up and attempt to try and get some better troops while bringing up I mean it's not really an army bringing these guys east come on Austria let's just peace out Come on, Brian, let's just peace out. Because I do want to get fire by rank. At the very least, we'll force them to come south to try and intercept us, and they've already we've already done a lot of damage to them, and this army's in a lot better shape to win a normal battle. Um, let's send you to go try and kill this general. Got him. Yep, we lost Baghdad. That's quite a big economic loss. We're down to about 3,000 a turn. Um, but it won't be long until we get it back. So we've got 900 to spend. We can't really spend it on anything. Mm, spend it on a unit of... God, no, you're not too bad, actually. You can just keep marching on. Marching on to Baghdad and we'll secure it. Ah, so we did get the spinning jenny. So I'm probably going to skip. Actually, you better go on to basic steam pump. Let's start to upgrade our overall economic position. It's frustrating. I'm going to lose position against the Persians in the north. Um, but I do need to just build up my strength. And probably get rid of some of my Fellaheen, Fellaheen units and replace them with Israelis because at least they can do basic musket drill. Because right now, yeah, right now it's becoming a slugging match and they're really pouring in lots and lots of troops. They've pulled some. They haven't pulled them back, but they've just fallen back in a different direction, I suppose. This army's pulled back and it's coming back with reinforcements. Yep, so they've come back to garrison the city, which is good because at least it means we know where their army is. We're not going to be wandering after it and chasing it down. Hey, that's actually much more convenient because it means the Persians aren't going to be able to take advantage of it. Don't worry, I need to start doing... Okay, let's just start. Okay, your job is to just support them. Is to fill up everyone else's unit. Good. So your Israelis, you're, you're moving up. Could do with howitzers, really, but you're not going to get those for a while. Let's 
march you out. Looks like I said, these guys are depleted, so I'm just going to put them under siege. Yeah, they're not, they're not as depleted as, as you'd think. Demand surrender. Because you're on the... You're on... You're loose. Let's build... Ships to occupy our ports. Upgrade this bad boy to a commercial port. There's lots of things we do need to start upgrading now are things like government buildings, which are expensive. They just are. Oh, well, I mean, obviously, obviously, unless you're Jerusalem. Get a barracks in Damascus, just in case. You guys keep marching on. Oh, yeah, damn it. We were building that building in Baghdad, weren't we? So we've, had, we've been reset. Okay, let's cancel... Cancel building of the port to get drill store built. Should have been built this turn, so it's a bit frustrating we've missed it. I'd rather Kaiseri go for government by consent. Keep an eye on Ankara's happiness. Because they're a great one for getting very grumpy very quickly. But this is this is the problem of being an absolute monarchy and you're trying to go research heavy in one particular region you're always going to have that um that problem of the lower classes being very very unhappy but i think as much as we've lost baghdad and we've lost yerevan we're probably going to actually be in a stronger position because our economy isn't terrible we're going to be combining our forces. We're growing our, our army in the north is going to be even stronger. Our army to the south is about to get reinforced with a big bunch of units. I mean, yeah, they're still marching on in fairly strong, <laughs> fairly strong numbers. So I probably want to go a bit more artillery heavy for certain things. Okie dokie, we're going to fight this. Yes. This could be a bit dodgy because they do get garrison I think a garrison unit oh they got a mob not terrible but we've not really got they outgun us they outmaneuver us they do lots of things better than us so this might be a case of deploying at the back of the map and retreating because I can't retreat sadly yeah let's do it let's take unless we've been very lucky with the terrain it's not too bad so our gunners are going to be primarily focused with the job of taking out the infantry that advances on us Camels are going to deploy in a position to try and flank and take out their artillery. Which might be better for my team. It might be better if I do use my general for that because he is faster. Got some janissaries down here to help protect against mass charges. With any luck, their artillery might actually just smack into the hill. So they do actually glance off the top, which is quite pleasant to notice. Yeah, these Semat Janissaries are pretty good, ready to slash and burn. But as soon as we get a target that these guys can blast with canister shot, they're going to do that. Fortunately, it looks like they are going to suffer from their guns or at least some of them, from hitting this hill. I mean, absolutely go in and hit that Zemandari horseman. Because that is an advantageous combat for us. Let's 
bring up the other Camel Nomad unit. Ready to intercept them. May even run a Janissary unit out there to help. So it looks like we might be able to break their cavalry. I mean, our guys are wavering because of their camels firing at us, and our camels are actually routing. Let's get our Janissaries in. They should come back. Yeah, we are technically losing, but I think as soon as our melee infantry can evolve we we'll really start to swing it back around to our favour although they are skirmishing us good you come back and go hit them there you go their troops are f their camels are falling thick and fast Go get them, Janissaries. This is an opportunity to break their strength on this entire flank. Guns start smashing into the Israelis. Good. Camel Nomads fall back. Janissaries hold. that on that flank. Farlock on Populus. Let's bring this infantry across like this. Let's get some flanking fire. Camels get in there. Let's take advantage of our, of our um, advantage on this flank. Switch you guys. Cast shot. Janissaries in straight at the Farlock on Populus. Start blasting the 6th Auto with cannon, cannon fire. The General's gone in, which is a bit of a gamble. Good. Pivot your position. Pull the General back. Getting my Janissaries in that combat, so it looks like they're gonna be, there's gonna be trouble. So they're charging, counter-charging my Janissaries. Well they were anyway. Just kill them to make sure they don't completely destroy my can at my camels to looks like they've done quite a good job. Yes, far I can't pop this. You can't withstand the slaughtering blades of my janissaries. my camels and everything back to the main line because so it looks like they're trying to push and I've not really got the strength to hold them back need a bit more consolidated force to make sure that happens yeah they are picking out my janissaries I think most of them were shot rather than killed in the combat. OK, 
Okay, there's something moving in. Let's move these Janissaries over. These are just Camel Nomads, they aren't smart or special. March one of these guys over to the bridge. She goes over to here. Gotta do something, camels. Do you see what's happening? Okay, you don't shoot anymore. Start to fire a round shot. Straight at them. Okay, they've been killed. Oh, my Janissaries didn't actually charge in. Now my, my other units of Israelis are in. Focus on killing the Israelis. Actually, I'd rather pull my Israeli unit out to turn fireball off. Slightly, I'm slaughtering you with my camels. There we go, let's go knock out there. Knock out our infantry. Artillery, engage this unit of musketmen. These guys are sticking around. Trouble is they did. Oh, they do have bayonets. Some of them do, anyway. Well, they did. I'm sure I saw why. These guys don't care. They just could want to charge it anyway. We all know this is going to go. Especially any misses that these guys get are going to go straight into this camel unit. Ah, this auto unit, the seventh auto, they held out a long time in the face of overwhelming odds. Turn the fire off. Let's continue. Just because it is. They still hold the city. So let's just knock out as much of their garrison as we can. And this unit's really spread out, which can be. It can be a good thing and a bad thing. They've knocked out most of the guys that were over there. They all seem determined to hunt and kill out all these various guys. There's one last Israeli guy left. Chonk. 
close victory. Be concerned about the south now, because they've only got 900 men and we still have over 2,000. And we have another stack coming in for support. So they really are going to be a bit concerned. <laughs> basic steam pump don't go straight on to the, that instead get something like common land enclosure something dirty and easy the town emerges Elat in Palestine let's make sure I upgrade some actual industry buildings oh, and in the base mansion because that almost doubles my tax revenue from Damascus it's pretty good now I'll do that. Let's make sure I've got... I mean, I know I'm missing some, like this guy over here, but uh, Athens is a bit down the queue for me. Let's build a bigger port to get more trade. Keep this army marching on, so it won't be here next turn, but the turn after that. Replenish what you can, although we did lose many. There you go. You're stronger now. Go put Yerevan... Actually, no, you... Eh. Yeah, go put Yerevan under siege. These guys are... Um, they're not good armies. Should be able to take Persia fairly... Well, next turn this army gets back. It gets in range. But then again, so do they. Do I pull a retreat like this? Combine my forces and then go back out again. I think that's the smart thing to do. Gather my strength, engage them in, well engage them at their unit where, engage them where they are strongest because I know I can beat their main force. Now they really are pumping out troops. Then again, lots of them are, are poor units, so it's not as though I'm... Hmm. Do I take the gamble that Genoa... Not Genoa. Um, George is quite happy just to sit in those two territories. And then do I send my army south to break Persia? That's probably a good idea, because I suspect they're probably going to be focusing on just their region. Their home regions. So you're still okay. You're shrinking for very for various reasons. Probably all these troops. Uh. So let's get rebuilding. So let's top up all these units to make sure they're at full strength. Gonna lose a unit of janissaries. Probably can lose a unit of cannons, but gives us room to combine our troops. So I want to get these guns in there for sure. I want to get the Israelis and the Bashis in there for sure. Get you guys and the Riskers of Souls in there. Two units of Felayin. Let's get that Camel Nomad out. Get them in. They head back towards the city, ready to put it under siege. You guys rebuild your strength. You guys... You probably head south and see if you can sit on this ford and try and fight them. So what else to build? Fishing fleet's cheap. Could upgrade the Turkish bath, but I'm not really bothered about that. Maybe upgrade this just to make them a bit more happy. I mean, they're all they're pretty happy as it is. New nation rises. Hessen. Hessen? That doesn't normally show up. Huh. Um. Yes, I'll recruit them just to try and see if I can make them a bit less grumpy. Although it looks like it's not going to really help. So I'm going to need to do a bit of research on what's a good garrison unit for the Ottomans. Um. Awesome. I think I build the barracks just to get the more research points for military tech. 
just to minimise the amount of time we're going to be waiting to get five by rank. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.